Welcome to Mac and PC Prime Video. Today I'm going to show you if you're trying to play, render, or export a video in Premiere Pro and the application is just not using the GPU acceleration function, then don't worry. As in this video, I'm going to share with you a few steps that you can take to fix the issue. So the first thing that we need to do is to make sure that we are using the correct graphics settings. Now I'm on a Windows computer, so the instructions may change slightly if you're on a Mac but for the most part, it should be the same. So the first thing you want to do is to go to the desktop and right-click the mouse. It will show the display setting here. Click on it and just click the graphics. Now from this list here, custom options apps and add in apps, then browse click here. This PC local disk is open and the program file click and Adobe here. Found Adobe Premiere Pro. Add to click on the icon and come over to Options. And now, from this window, we just want to make sure that High Performance is selected. And now once you've selected that, we just want to save our settings and come back over to Adobe Premiere Pro. Now before we give it a go, we just want to make sure that Hardware Acceleration is actually enabled. So to do that, you simply come over to File, and then find Project Settings, and then over to the General tab. Now from here under Video Rendering and Playback, you just want to make sure the renderer is set to Mercury Playback Engine GPU Acceleration, and then just select that. And then we can just hit OK to save our changes. Now just following these two steps alone should fix the majority of errors. However, if you still are facing issues, then we have a couple more steps that you will need to follow. So if we come over to Edit and Preferences, and then we want to select the Memory tab. Now what we want to do on this screen is we want to make sure that the RAM reserved for other applications is set to as low as possible. So I've got mine here set to 2 gigabytes, which means I have RAM available for Adobe. Premiere is 5.8 gigabytes. All. It basically means that any other background applications that are running may run slightly slower when using Adobe Premiere, but it will just ensure that Adobe Premiere has the maximum resources available for it. And once we've finished here, we can just click OK. You can hit OK and come back to Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, this should have solved all of your issues, but if you still are experiencing problems, then please drop a comment below and I'll try my best to assist you. If this did help you, then please drop a like and subscribe. Until next time.